Hey guys, welcome back to Super Halloween Month. Yeah! Um, actually, what we're going to do today is a cat face. And I'd already done this video. Sorry, my voice is totally gone because I'm having an allergy fit. Um, I tried to sweep. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to do a cat face because I had done a blue cat face the other day, which some of you have seen the picture of on my Facebook page. And it looked really cool, but then when I got back on my iPad, it had deleted the entire thing. So all I had was like the very beginning when I was putting the white on. So we're not going to do that one again because I can't bring myself to do a blue cat again. Instead, I'm going to do a pink one. And like a, like I have a pink wig that will go on at the end. And then like some little sparkly ears um, and kind of jazz it up. So how you're going to start is you're going to pin back your hair um, first and foremost because otherwise it'll get in your paint and then you'll end up with funny colors. So mine just pretty much I could push back and it'll stay out of the way. But make sure you know you can pin yours back. If I had something, oh I have my ears, I'll just pin it, pin it back with my ears. The cute ears. Overpriced but cute. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick out your paint colors. Now I don't know what kind of brand of paint you're using so that will make a difference. Um, the one I use is Diamond FX and I also have Snazaroo but the color payoff is not as good as Snazaroo and some kids find it itchy. So I use theatrical paint instead. Um, what I'm going to do is just put a dab of water in each of the paint pots. I'm not going to even show you it because it's incons inconsequential. And then I have pink, white, and purple, which are my main colors. And then um, my stripes at the end, I'm going to do black. It's pretty, you know, pretty good. Self-explanatory, right? So here's your sponge. You need a clean one to do white with. And they'll stain up a lot like this if you use them a lot. And then you will fill your sponge up with white, like this. The sponge has been cut in half. It was a circle when I bought it. So then you're going to take this over your eyes and make kind of a teardrop shape. Like that kind of a shape. And then you do the same thing on the other side. There you go, that's the start of your entire cat. You can go back at the end and touch up, or you can go in now and touch up, it's up to you. Then the next bit, you have to decide if you want a white muzzle or not, if you do. It's like putting a little mustache on. And then if you want it below, you bring it down onto the chin. Upper lip should be white, and the bottom one it can be it can stay as it is for now. So then the next thing you're gonna do is load up the same one with pink. Now this pink's gonna go everywhere. And then you can add a little bit more water to your paint pot or to your sponge if you need more, which I do. You want to load up your sponge so it's really thick, not watery. Try to cover your brows the best you can at this point. And 
that's your paint. You can see it's just done all the way around the face. You can go down on the neck if you want to. I don't, but you can. Then you're going to take the same sponge and put it in some purple. And you're going to start blending this purple into the pink around the edges and down the cheekbones. You can use the back of it, which it doesn't have any color, just to sponge it and blend. And if you go down the sides of the nose, you're actually going to give yourself a really straight cat nose. You can load more purple if you want it darker again. And this is just really your base to go under all your stripes. So once you put the stripes on it, it'll look really different. Or spots, I guess, if you want spots. All right, so next thing you do is you take a little tiny brush like this one and you're going to start outlining. Now I don't have any black in Diamond FX so that means I'm going to have to use Snazaroo. Um, the trick with Snazaroo is that you need less water and you need more paint because it dries really slowly. So wait until your Diamond FX if that's what you're using dries and then use it. It's okay to mix paints. There's no issue with that. So I'm going to get some water on my brush. This is my mixed palette of Nazaru. I'm just going to pick up my black out of here. Get more water if you need it. I'm going to start on the nose. Start just doing the underside. You can build your nose up bigger. That way, you know, it doesn't get too big too fast. I like to bring my cat nose up higher so it's a little bit more obvious. This will take longer to dry, this black, so try to be patient. And then the bottom of the nose comes down through the lip. And then you'll paint the bottom lip black. It's starting to look like a cat. And you can put little spots. And now you're going to outline your eyes. So you want to just do little pieces like this. You're going to lightly put down the brush, make it harder, and then pull up. It's just to look like fur. This is probably the part that makes your eyebrows go away the most. 
Um, if you're still concerned after this, then you can put some white back in over them. But for the most part, it should be okay. So that's one side done. Then you want to do the other side similar. And there's a million different ways to do the eyes, but I like this kind of furry look. You can always add more or less to make it match up, but relatively speaking, this is what you want. So then the last thing you're going to do is to put your stripes on and add a little bit of whiskering around your face here. So you're going to load up a lot of this black. And just start putting it on. Just as if it's fur and it's like it's like an outline for your fur. Then your stripes, you pull it like a U shape. Just like that. Oh, I just lost my brush. You brush. One. A slightly bigger one. Wet. Okay, then you're going to take another one up here. That's stripes for one side. stripes for the second side and you want to do your forehead stripes so you start with one big one press the brush all the way down kind of just wiggle it and then you're gonna do another one same thing only they're gonna get smaller and you want the same thing over here and here as well. And then you can start adding back in little like white details, which will look quite nice. I'm using a water bottle, which is helpful because it doesn't get everywhere then. And you can start putting your white back on. So you're gonna get your brush wet. You're gonna put it into your white. And a little white, lots of white, and you're gonna start doing your little details. Like I want spots up the middle. It's kind of come out gray, but that's from me not washing my brush all the way off. You could switch brushes. It's it's helpful to have a couple. And I would like to line maybe that one. that there we go with some white you can do this way just makes your little stripes stand out a little bit and then I'll do some on the outside maybe down the middle of this one and then I'm going to put in some spots, because I think spots are cute. And you just kind of lightly tap to make a spot. This is a round brush you're using. And 
I think that lends nicely to going back in here since those were gray. I'm going to put some white back over it. That's kind of fantasy cat. Now to finish off your entire costume, well, before we do, if you have brows like I do and you're worried about it, just stick some more white up in it. It's about, you're not going to get full coverage, so that's the best you can do. Um, if you would like to add glitter, I get these little glitter pots off at of Amazon, which are coming all the different colors. So this one's like pink. So what I do with children is have them put their heads all the way back and then sprinkle this on top. So it would be like, and then there's some glitter on there that you can see. Just make sure they close their eyes. Um, you can do some lines around the eyes and everything, but I know a lot of kids don't like their eyes being touched, so I'm just going to leave this at that. And then what you'll do with the wigs and everything for their parties is you just pick up one of these wigs. You can get them off eBay for about $5, $6. It's not very expensive. Um, on the inside, there's these little loops that hook in to make the wig tighter. And there's a bit in the back that looks like this is where you slip it in. You put those in. can't get this one in. Sometimes they're tricky. Then you're gonna put, if you have a wig cap, you can do a wig cap. Otherwise, just put their hair either in a ponytail or a bun or something on the back of their head. And the higher up, the better, really, to get it under the wig. And you're going to pull this down over the hair. I haven't done a whole lot to this wig yet, if you can't tell. You're going to pull the hair out of the way. My hair is sticking out because I didn't use a web uh, a webcam, I was about to say, a uh, wig cap. So then you could pinch this back if you have like a, a pin or something to just put it out of the way. But for me, I'll just use my cat ears. There we go. And this is what I would do for like a pink, exciting kitty cat. And um, it matches your ears. You can put a lot more glitter on if you want. Like, like you can put it all over here and then you really sparkle when you walk. Yeah, you can kind of see it. And um, it's a lot of fun to do this. And then you put, um, I know where I'm from in Ohio, it, and now that I'm in England, it's really cold on Halloween. So you can put like a, a turtleneck, like a pink turtleneck up to here and it'll if you wear like furry rimmed gloves or a furry hat or whatever, it'll look still like a cat even if they're freezing cold. So then they won't be cold and they can have fun trick or treating and it's lots of good, lots of good fun. And if you're an adult doing this one, um, it's a pretty easy, quick little thing to do. I just did that in under 15 minutes. Uh, it, it takes a little bit of practice, but it's not too bad. And you could just wear whatever you want and then you'd still look like a cat. Um, so you might, you know, win a costume contest or something. Um, just because you're not just totally looking like everybody else. Uh, yeah. So, let me know what you think. This wig's in my face because I've never styled it before. It's the first time I've worn it. It's really cheap off eBay, but it's actually a nice quality. You want to look for Canakelon or Japanese fiber wigs. I have just one piece. There's always one. Um, they're really nice because then you can heat style them and stuff too if you wanted to. But I just like this one as it is. It's a nice pink color. Anyway, I have subscribe, like below, and I am on Facebook at uh, The Skeleton's Heart, and Twitter at Katrina, and I don't know. I'm just, I'm all over the place. So if you, if you want to know where I am, let me know. And I hope you have a good Halloween if this is the only one you see. Otherwise, keep up with me and subscribe because I'll have lots more over the next two weeks about. Okay, see you later.